Hello everyone. For today, we will be talking about algebraic expression and equation. And this is for Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 3. Right? So, let's have here some word phrases and expression. So, uh, tignan natin ha. What's the difference? Okay, word phrases. Okay. Ito, meron siyang, uh, sabi dito, 5 plus 8. So, ano ngayon? So, hindi siya komple kompleto ang thought. Kaya nga, this is just a phrase, di ba? So, i-compare mo with English. Ang tawag dito sa English is just a phrase. So, and in mathematics, ang equivalent niyan is just expression. So, the expression for that is 5 plus 8. So, for mathematical expression, isulat mo lang yung equivalent uh, numbers niya. Okay? So, parang tinranslate mo lang ito from word phrases to mathematical expressions. Okay? And another one, we have 10 decreased by 2. That is 10 minus 2. And then 12 divided by 3. So, hindi na tayo gagamit nito ng symbol. Gagamit lang tayo ng fraction bar. Kasi fraction bar denotes division. Kaya 12 over 3 lang siya. Okay? And then 5 multiplied by 4. Ayan. So, pwede rin yan gamitan mo ng parenthesis lang para hindi nagagamit ng multiplication symbol. Okay? And then, we have 7 increased by 10. That is 7 plus 10 kasi increased by 10, di ba? And then, kung nahalata nyo, lahat ng ginamit natin dito are just numbers and then operation symbols, di ba? And since numbers lang yan, ang specific name for this are numerical expressions. So, specific name nito are numerical expressions lang siya dahil numbers lang ang involved dyan, di ba? Let's have, let's have the sentences and equation. So, ano nga naman ang kaibahan nito? Yung sentences in English ay kumpleto yung thoughts. So, doon sa uh, earlier, sabi 5 plus 8 lang. Now, this time, dinagdagan natin, okay, para mabuo yung isang sentence. So, we have here, 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. So, buo na yung thought, di ba? And, in mathematics, tinatawag natin yan as equation kasi meron ng equal. So, from the word equal, equation. So, 5 plus 8 equals 13. So, alam mo naman na 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. So, kompleto yung uh, thought dito. Okay? Then, another one is, okay, 10 decreased by 2 is 8. Yan. So, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Okay? So, pwedeng 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 or 10 decreased by 2 is 8. So, pareho lang ang kalabasan yan dito. Okay? Then, we have 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So, oh, ang ginawa natin doon is 12 over 4, di ba? So, again, we ha ay, 12 over 3 pala. So, 12 over 3 is equal to 4. And then, 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. So, in equation, ito siya. And then, 7 increased by 10 is 17. Ayan. 7 increased by 10 is 17. So, again, dito, numbers lang na nakikita mo. Kaya, ang kaibahan lang dito sa dati, earlier, meron na tayong equal sign dito. So, dahil sa equal sign at meron na siyang sagot dito, we now have an equation. And since numbers lang din ang nandyan, okay, specific name for this is, or are, these are numerical equations from the word number then numerical. So, anong kaibahan nito with algebraic expressions and algebraic equations? So, siguro tignan natin ang meaning ng algebraic expressions and algebraic equations. Alright? Ayan. So, algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that uses variables numbers in one or more operation symbols. So, ang kaibahan pala ay meron siyang variables. Okay? So, algebraic expressions ay may variables. So, ano ba yon? So, this is an example of an algebraic expression. So, we have here 5n plus 8. Okay? And, um, in, um, Algebra, okay, yung, yung n dito is the variable. Na bakit variable ang tawag? Kasi yung n dito ay pwede nating palitan. Okay, so pareho dun sa rules in sequences. Yung n doon ay pinalitan natin ng iba't ibang number, depende sa order. So pwede 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 25, or 50. Kaya nga, variable vary. So, letters 
used in a mathematical phrase are called variables from the word vary. So, nagbe-vary ang kanyang value. Okay? So, again, this is the variable. And then, the numbers, okay, ito yon ay hindi nagbabago ang value. So, hindi natin tatawagin yon as simply numbers. They are constants. Or this is a constant. Kasi nga, hindi nagbabago ang value. And then, ito naman, siguro magtatanong kayo, ma'am, number din yan na. Diba? Dapat constant din yan. Ang kaibahan kasi dito sa number na to, ito yung ginagamit katabi ng variable. So, imumultiply kasi siya dito sa variable. So, hindi lang siya, hindi mo siya tatawagin just as a constant. Ang tawag dito is coefficient. Okay? And, ang coefficient is used para imultiply with the variable. Okay? So, again, a variable is any letter or symbol that represents a number. Okay? And, ano ba yung bakit, bakit may sinabing symbol? Hindi lang letters lahat. Kasi, ang pi ginagamit dun sa circle uh, also represents a number. So, instead of writing the value of pi, susulat mo lang yung pi. Diba? So, pasok pa rin siya as one of the variables. And then, constant. Okay? A constant has a fixed value that does not change. And then, the coefficient is a number used to multiply a variable. Now, ano, man, ano naman ang algebraic expression? Equation. So, algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign. So, yun lang tatandaan mo pag may equal sign, equation na yan. Pag may letters, numbers, eh di algebraic equation. Diba? And, uh, it shows the two expressions on either side are equal. Okay. So, again, we have here 5 plus 8. Now, this time, meron na siyang equal sign dito. And it says here, it's equal to 15 plus Four. So, this is now an algebraic equation. In the same way, ito rin ay variable and then constant. Ito, constant, constant. And then, this is the coefficient. Right? Another example is a plus 6 equals 14. 4m minus 3 equals 37. And 3x is equal to 15. Right? So, ano yung pwedeng makatulong natin with, when it comes to algebraic equations and algebraic equi uh, expressions? We have here some symbols and then what are the keywords and phrases for those symbols? So, una, the addition, uh, addition symbol or plus sign. Okay? These words here uh, ay makakatulong na uh, madetermine mo na ang gagamitin mo pala ay addition. So, addition pala ang gagawin dito. So, yung word na addition, plus, sum, more than, added to, increased by, the total of. Kasi yung sum dito is the answer for addition. Total answer for addition as well. Okay? So, yung mga words na ito ay makakatulong na ito makapagsabi na ang gagawin mo ay mag-a-add. Now, for um, subtraction or minus, minus sign, we have and subtraction minus the difference of less than, decreased by, diminished by, subtracted from, pwede rin deducted from. Okay? So, yung words na yun ha. So, meron pang ibang words yan. So, um, the keywords na nilagay ko dito ay yun lang mga nandito. Pero meron pa yung iba ha. Meron pa yung iba. Okay, next we have the um, multiplication sign. Okay? And... Um, it refers to multiplication times the product of multiplied by of twice and thrice. So, yung word na of lang ay pwede niyang palitan with the multiplication sign. Okay? And then, we have the division. So, ano ito? Ito yung um, fraction bar. And then, minsan pag nagta-type tayo, yung slash lang ang ginagamit. Um, since division um, or fraction denotes division, kaya naisama itong dalawang to. Okay? And then, ayan. So, pwede siyang gamitin with the word division divided by the quotient of the ratio of. Kasi a ratio is a fraction. Kaya it also denotes division. Okay? And then, we have the equal sign. E di ganun lang is equal to equals is, just the word is, ay pwedeng palitan with equal sign, and then is the same as.
right? We have here some word phrases and algebraic expressions. So, m plus 6. That is just m plus 6, diba? Kaya lang, pwede rin natin siyang sabihin na the sum of m and 6. So, parehong m and 6 alang ang pwedeng ilagay mo dyan. Kasi the sum ay sagot sa addition, diba? And then, another way to do it is m increased by 6. So, m plus 6 pa rin yan. Okay? And then, we have 6 added to m. So, sabihin mo, ma'am, bakit nauna yung 6 dito? 6 added to m. Kasi, kung, tatagal, kung tatagalugin mo yan, okay, you would say na 6 idagdag mo sa m. Kaya, inuna yung binanggit ang 6 dito. Pero, yung uh, translation yan is uunahin mo yung 6 kasi dadagdagan mo ng ay, unahin mo yung M kasi dadagdagan mo ng 6. Kaya, 6 added to M. So, the same way with this one, 6 more than M. So, mas mataas ng 6 kaysa sa M. Kaya, dapat unahin mo yung M, dagdagan mo ng 6. Okay? Now, dapat kasi alam paano gawin ito kasi um, kung mabaligtaran ito sa addition, okay lang. Kaya lang, sa subtraction, hindi na pwede. Kaya dapat dito pa lang masanay na. So, tignan natin with the subtraction. We have here n minus 2. So, that is just this one, n minus 2. And then, the difference between n and 2. So, an another way to write the word phrase here is by using the difference. Kasi the difference ay sagot sa subtraction. Okay? And then, n decreased by 2. So, pwede lang yon. So, n binabawasan or binawasan ng 2. O, tama lang din. Kaya lang, ayan, pag sinabi mong 2 subtracted from m, ito na yung sinabi ko dito. Ayan, dapat, okay, dapat unahin mo sa pagsulat ay n. Kasi, ang ibig lang sabihin nito is, ang 2 daw tatanggalin mo mula sa n. Ayan o, mula sa n. Kaya, ang n dapat ang uh, babawasan mo ng 2. Kaya, since kahit inuna mo sa pagbigkas uh, yung 2 dito, dapat nauna pa rin ang n. Kasi, ibig lang sabihin nito, n ay, ang 2 ay tatanggalin mo from n. And yun ha. And the same way with this one, 2 less than n, mas mababa ng 2 kaysa sa n. Kaya, dapat i-minus mo yung 2 from n. Okay? Hindi dapat magbaligtaran. Kasi, dito kung magbaligtaran, okay lang. Addition yan eh. Pero dito kung magbaligtaran, hindi na tama yun. Magiging mali na yung sagot mo. Kaya, uh, ingat tayo dito sa less than at saka yung subtracted from. Ayan yung from o. Oh, and then, added to at saka more than. Right? Now, this one. We have... 3 times y. So, 3 times y, edi 3y lang yan. So, paano kung nauna yung y? You would say, y times 3. 3y pa rin ang sagot dyan, ha? Kasi, dapat nauna yung number with uh, the variable. Parang ano lang yan ulit, manika. Like, kung binabanggit yung manika, no? So, pag sinabi mong uh, manika tatlo, mali yan, okay? Kasi, dapat, pag nagsabi ka tatlo, tatlong meron ka, edi sasabihin mo dapat tatlong manika. Diba? So, dapat tatlong manika, tatlong y. So, kahit pa sinabi mo dito y times 3, ang sagot mo dapat dun ay 3y pa rin. Okay? And then, the product of 3 and y, okay, pareho lang, y multiplied by 3, okay, and pwede ring thrice y. Now, a divided by 4. So, ganito lang ang pagsulat niya, ha? So, gagamit tayo ng fraction bar as much as possible, hindi na nga gagamit ng um, division sign. And then, the quotient of A and 4. The ratio of A to 4, kasi nga ratio is a fraction, so pareho lang. And then, 1 fourth of A. So, bakit wala ng 1? Kasi 1A is just A. Or, ah, uh, Pag kukuhan mo yung 1 fourth ng A, edi eh i-divide mo na siya by 4. Tama lang yan. Wag, di mo na babanggitin yung 1 or di, di mo na kailangan ipakita yung 1 dyan. Kaya, diretso ka na sa A over 4. Right? Okay, let's have this. Um, word phrases and its equivalent algebraic expressions. So, we have here, M decreased by 10. I increase, sorry. M increased by 10. So, this is just M plus 10. And then, twice a number. So, 
dahil wala namang binanggit na letter, you could use A kasi nga lahat ng letters pwede. You could use you could use B, you could use C, you could use you could use D, okay? And in this case, I used X. So, twice a number, 2X. 6 more than N. So, ito na yung 6 more than n. So, mas mataas pa ng anim kaysa sa n. So, dapat unahin mo sa pagsulat ang n tapos dagdagan ng 6. And then, 3 more than twice a number. So, mas, ma mas mataas ng tatlo kaysa sa twice a number. So, dapat gawin mo muna yung twice a number plus 3. Ayan. Okay? Kasi nga, iingat tayo sa more than at saka less than. So, 2 less than B. So, that would be B minus 2. And then, the sum of C and 4 divided by 2. Now, since sinabing the sum of C and 4, dapat um, yung mga ano dito, the sum, yung mga sagot, the, the sum, the, the difference, the product, the quotient, dapat nakalagay sa parenthesis kung wala siyang kasama. Okay? Now, since um, wala namang kasama doon, okay, That's dahil divided by 2 naman siya, so yung 2 mo ay nasa baba, so ayan lang siya. Okay? So, we need not put the parenthesis here, okay? Kasi, um, kinuha mo na yung sum, pinagsama mo na siya yung dalawa, and then you divided it by 2. Okay? So, kung nilagyan mo ng parenthesis yan, pareho lang din. Okay lang din. Okay? Pero, um, Basta lang mag-ingat kapag meron the sum, the difference, the quotient. It's better to write a parenthesis here, okay? Uh, kung nalilito, okay? Or kung hindi naman, basta siguraduhin magkasama sila dahil the sum ang pinag-usapan. Kapag the sum, magkasama dapat yung dalawa, okay? And then, we have twice x multiplied by the difference between 10 and 4. So, ito na yung the difference. So, since wala namang division dito, so yung numbers ay wala sa baba. Lahat na sa taas, ba? So, dapat ito difference, ilagay mo sa parenthesis. And then, twice na. And then, multiply mo na dun sa difference. Tingnan natin ha. So, twice. Twice x. Ayan. Multiplied by. So, ita times mo sa difference nito. So, diretso ka na sa parenthesis. Okay? Kasi um, a number or even a letter, okay, and then followed by a parenthesis denotes multiplication. Okay? So, ang x neto is just a variable. Okay? Kaya nga, hindi maganda kung gagamit pa ng multiplication sign. Kasi kung na multiplication sign ka pa dyan, malilito na ang titingin. That would be 2xx. ba? So, hindi pwede yon. Kaya, walang multiplication sign. Itong parenthesis na ito to uh, denotes multiplication na. Okay? Now, this time naman, sentences and algebraic equation. Okay? Tignan natin. We have m increased by 10 is 15. So, that would be m m plus 10 equals 15. Ganun lang. Okay? Ayan. So, isa-isayin mo lang. Maliban lang kung merong word na less than or uh, subtracted from o yun na yung ingat ka. Pero kung ganyan lang, adidiretsyo na. Ayan. Twice a number is equal ito, ba Equal to 14. So, twice a number, pwedeng 2x, pwedeng 2y, pwedeng 2b. So, tignan natin kung anong ginamit ko dito. Ayan. 2x siya. 2x ang ginamit. So, twice a number, eto na yung 2x is ay equal, and then 14, okay? 6 more than n equals 8. So, ito na yon dapat nahuli ang 6 kasi meron tayong word dito na more than, okay? So, n plus 6 equals 8. Ayan siya dapat, okay? And then, 3 more than twice a number is 17. So, twice a number muna, Plus 3 equals 17. Ayan. Okay? And then, the sum of C and 4. So, again, dahil the sum yan, magkakasama dapat yung C and 4, divided by 2 is equal to 12. So, pwede lang ganyan yan. Divided by 2 equals 12. And then, twice x multiplied by the difference between 10 and 4 is 36. Ayan. Yan. So, ito lang din yung sa kabila eh, sa um, earlier na slide. Nilagyan ko lang ng equal. ba Nilagyan ko lang ng value. 
Okay? And then, we have the algebraic e equations. Right? So, another sample here. 2m plus n. Now, siguro nakita nyo dalawa na ang variable. Is this also an algebraic equation? Yes. Kahit pa dalawang variable na yan, kahit pa gawin tatlo yan, kahit apat, pwede pa rin yan. Okay? And then, dahil meron siyang equal dito, this is still an algebraic equation. And, and uh, since dalawa na yung letter dito, edi itong dalawa na ngayon ang variable natin. Ayan. So, these are the variables. Ito pa rin ang constant. Okay? And then, ito pa rin ang coefficient. Okay? Alright? So, let's do some translation. Translate natin ito. And, um, if you're not done yet, pause the video. Subukang i-translate. Okay? Yan. 5 more than a number M is 6. Tandaan, merong more than. 5 more than a number M. And, binanggit dito yung number which is M. Okay? So, that is just, ayan, M plus 5. Kasi, 5 more than M is 6. Is dito is just equal, ha? We have 4 less than x is 10. Ayan, ayan na naman yung less than. 4 less than x is 10. So, x minus 4 is 10. Okay? 3 times the sum of a number in 9. 3 times the sum of a number in 9. So, hindi binanggit ko anong number. Bahala ka kung anong letter ang gagamitin mo. Right? So, 3 x plus 9. D times 5 decreased by 20. So, ito na siya. Nauna na ngayon ang D times 5. So, paano mo siya isulat? And then, decrease. This is just minus by 20. So, ibig sabihin, this is not a sentence. This is just a an algebraic expression. So, D times 5, that is just 5D. Decreased by 20 minus 20. And then, the difference between x and 3 multiplied by 2 is 8. Ayan. So, the difference between x and 3. Okay. And then, so, dapat yung difference naka parenthesis yan. And then, multiplied by 2 is 8. So, ayan. x minus 3. Kasi difference between x minus 3. Kaya lang, multiplied by 2. Okay. Kahit hindi mo na ilagay dito yung 2, dito mo na sa harap ilagay. So, multiplied by 2, ayan, is 8. Ayan. So, ganyan lang ang sagot niya. Okay. So, ito pa. Okay. Baligtad naman ngayon. We have here the algebraic ex uh, expression and then translate into word phrase. So, ayan, 3 times k. Pwede na, diretso na. 2x plus 5, edi... 2x plus 5, pwede rin ganyan lang. Okay? And then, m plus n divided by 4, pwede mo yang ilagay as the sum of m plus n divided by 4. Okay? Tignan ko nga. Ayan, the sum of m and n divided by 4. Uh, bakit lagyan ng the sum? Kasi dapat, ang dalawa na ito ay magkasama na i-divide by 4. Kasi kung hindi natin lagyan ng the sum of m and n, baka kasi ilagay mo m plus, tapos yung n lang ang i-divide mo by 4. So, iba na kasi ang kalabasan nun. Okay? So, since merong the sum of n and uh, the sum of m and n, so, di dapat magkasama yung dalawa. Okay? And then, we have r divided by 2 equals 10. Ayan, o ganyan lang. And then, eto ngayon, okay, merong dalawang naka-parenthesis. So, since naka-parenthesis ito, eto ay the sum. Eto naman ay the difference, ba? So, ayan, ganun lang siya. The sum of 6 and A plus the difference between B and C is equal to 9. Ayan, so sana naintindihan po. And thank you for